Art Nerd. Today we are taking a look at an alternative type of watercolor palette, so keep watching. So we have here a homemade watercolor palette. I picked this up on Amazon because it looked interesting and seemed to have a very large capacity. So it comes in this pre-painted metal tin. I'm really not a fan of having other art on my art supplies. Even the esteemed Van Gogh just would really prefer a plain box. And let's grab a comparable internet palette. So both of these were picked up from Amazon or rather ordered from Amazon. You can find links to both in description below. Um, this one came with the half pans. This one, the half pans were ordered separately. This is a 25 whole pan or 48, no, sorry, 28 half pan or 12 whole pan watercolor palette here. Whereas this is something a little more interesting. And I believe I counted it. I think it's 32, but I may have to count it again just to make sure. This is actually a 40 half pan palette. What's interesting about this is it's slightly bigger than most smartphones. In fact, if mine was anywhere near handy, it's all the way across the room. Um, I would compare it for you guys. It holds almost twice as many half pans as this, but it has a much smaller form factor. It's got an all metal case a bit of foam to cushion it in transit. And what I think is the most interesting about this is it has magnet tape on the back. Now you could very easily make something like this at home if you already have the materials lying around, but to purchase the individual materials and assemble it would cost about as much as the palette. And I got this for $16.99 through the Amazon Seller Homemade. So the construction's pretty simple. It is basic half pans with a bit of magnetic tape on the back. And these will stick to any magnetic surface. So you're not limited by your half palette. You can rearrange them. You can pull some out actually. One just lost their tape. Who made you? Art Clouds made the So it seems that perhaps the sticky on the back is not that strong. And you might, if you're going to be taking them in and out of the palette frequently and rearranging them, you might want to better adhere the tape. I'm gonna use a little bit of double stick tape, which surely can't be any worse than what we've got. You use a little bit of double stick tape and reapply it. So recently I showed you guys how to very basically glue neodymium magnets to a empty palette or to an Altoids tin or in our case, a Trader Joe's ginger mint tin. These work along the same principle, but the magnets aren't nearly as strong. Anyway. Yeah, I see no reason why this wouldn't function as a travel palette. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram and even on YouTube putting all of one color family, like all the yellows in a palette. Um, so if that actually helps you use your watercolors, if it helps you keep track of what you own, that is fantastic. A palette like this, you can house them in a palette like this and then remove them and put them in individual palettes for travel, which could be a really good idea if you have a large watercolor collection to make sure you actually use what you own. And that might be a direction that I see myself moving in in the future. So if you want to get your own, if this seems like a good solution to your studio, 
They are fairly compact. They are $16 each on Amazon, and you can check the description below for where you can get your own. I purchased this for my Kusukabe watercolors. I have a 24 pack coming in the mail, hopefully soon. Nope, it says 18 pack, but hopefully soon. So I hope you guys will stick around this channel and check out that video. I hope this video was helpful, useful, and informative for you guys. And I hope I tipped you off to a watercolor product that is affordable, accessible, and useful for your needs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again really soon. I'm Becca Hilburn. Keep the uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm just Becca Hilburn. Have a great day, guys. Bye.